Hi, in this video, we will build an intraday option selling strategy um, that has been shown by this channel out here uh, by Saket. Um, now, uh, let's let's first understand what exactly is the strategy that is being discussed and then we will build the same strategy using our option wizard, make modifications on them and then backtest uh, the, the same strategy to see how it has performed over the last one year. Um, so, the, to understand the strategy first, um, let's let's try to look at uh, what exactly is the logic uh, that is that is being discussed here. Now, the strategy out here is uh, is is a uh, is a strangle that we are uh, that we are shorting. So uh, we are looking at uh, at Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uh, in Nifty, and we are trying to ascertain um, uh, ascertain the call and put option that is trading at 15 rupees. Uh, and this happens at 10:39 every uh, every uh, every of the selected days. Now, after doing this. Um, once we find uh, these these particular instruments uh, on these particular days, we are basically shorting them. So if let's say there is no instrument trading at 15 rupees specifically, we will find the, the nearest instrument trading uh, closest to 15 and we will short that. So um, uh, so the first step will be uh, at 10.39, short the call and put at 15 rupees. After doing this, we will have a stop loss of 7 rupees on the same and we will then have a, a uh, have a trailing mechanism. So let's assume we enter at 15. Uh, if let's say the price goes up to let's say uh, 22, in that case we will exit from our position uh, 15 plus uh, 7. And uh, if in case uh, it uh, the price moves in our favor, which is uh, it comes below 15 and it it uh, it uh, it moves below 15, in that case we'll have a trailing stop loss setup, which will basically be one is to one. So let's say um, after five points of movement, which means after it goes to 10 rupees. Uh, for every one point of movement in our favor, we will trail the stop loss continuously in our favor um, by one point. So uh, that is the uh, that is the logic that we are trying to follow. Um, after that, uh, we will do the exact same thing at 10:39 as well. So we will have two different uh, sets. Uh, one set will be uh, will be working at 10:39, and the second set will do the exact same thing at 11:39 uh, after one hour. So this is the overall logic that we that we want to build, uh, and finally we have a universal exit at 3:25 that we will uh, that we will square off our uh, position from. So let's uh, now try to build the same thing using our option wizard. So um, I'll go to the option wizard, and out here I'll just uh, name or I'll just create a new strategy. Uh, and uh, this this uh, strategy is basically on Nifty 50. So I've selected Nifty 50. Capital I'm assuming is around 2 lakh rupees for this and I will select my strategy as an intraday strategy. Now I will uh, select my segment. So I will have my call because I want to trade in a call. Um, I'll select a sell position. I'll keep the strike as it is um, and I'll select my expiry which is on current week. Now why have I selected ATM? You'll come to know in some time. Uh, and I will select one lot and I'll click on add. So I'll add my call instrument and I will add my put instrument. So the two instruments that I want to trade in have been added out here. And uh, now I will add basically my uh, stop loss level and my trailing levels. So since we don't want any uh, target, I will basically leave target empty. And in uh, my stop loss level, I'll basically select points. So I want seven points of stop loss in both my call instrument and my put instrument. And uh, I will now have a trailing stop loss also. Now in my trailing stop loss, my first field will basically be um, when I want this trailing stop loss to be activated. So um, I'll select five points. So five points from my entry price, it will be the activate at, uh, at point for my trailing stop loss. Now after that, the second field is basically for uh, the minimum profit that you want to lock. Now since the strategy doesn't talk about any minimum profit that you need to lock, we will leave this as uh, as blank or we'll keep this as zero so that there is no locking of uh, minimum profit that is happening. After that, we will select um, the, 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 uh, the trailing. So if it moves by one point, I will want to shift my trailing stop loss from entry pr price to one point below that. Um, and I will do the same for my put link. So um, now I will uh, I will select my entry uh, entry time. So uh, the entry time that we had out here was 10.39. So I will basically just select uh, 1039 out here and uh, I will select the relevant days. So I will not want to take a trade on Monday and Friday. So uh, these two days uh, will be the days where I don't need to trade. Um, after that, I will uh, now look at my exit time. Um, now notice I have not added uh, my uh, 
uh, I, I notice I have not added my uh, my second uh, set out here. Um, I'll I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that in a short while. So now I have clicked on save, and uh, my strategy is being uh, created. Now I'll go to my strategies and make all the modifications that I will need uh, in order to execute this exact same strategy. So um, out here I'll go to the three dots, and I'll click on edit in strategy. Now uh, when I go to edit in strategy. Um, Ideally, if I want to make uh, these two different strategies, the the execution of the first execution at 10:39 and the second execution at 11:39, I would have to make two different strategies. But in this video, we are now going to see how can we club both of them into one strategy so that we can backtest them together and see how it is uh, performing. So um, I have my strategy out here. Now the first change that we need to make is that we we don't want ATM uh, ATM instruments uh, to be traded. we want a instrument which is uh, trading at 15 rupees so for that i'll go to the strike out here and i'll select my strike fx and in my strike fx i will remove atm spot and i will select fine strike so i'll click on fine strike and in here i'll select my underlying um i'll select my field as ltp because i want it uh, to be checked based on ltp and my price will be a number so i will want to input a number based on which i want to uh, take a trade i'll change my expiry to a uh, weekly expiry and uh, the number that i want to uh, want to trade is uh, 15 rupees so i want a 15 rupee uh, expiry uh, option of call and i will uh, do the exact same thing for my put so i'll just uh, go to my put option and in my put option i will select uh, fx uh, sorry fine strike and in fine strike i will do the exact uh, same thing now uh, after doing that i am pretty much uh, done with the uh, with the first uh, logic that i need to build um uh, now i will have to replicate this entire thing for my uh, 1139 entry so for the second entry i will basically make a new set um so for that i'll just uh, first copy my universal exit and i'll select a new set now once i uh, select my new set i'll paste my universal exit so i i know my universal exit has been added now um i will basically want to first add my entry conditions so um entry conditions out here uh, is a simple copy paste i'll copy my entry conditions from my set 1 because uh, that is the exact same logic that i need to uh, follow and i will paste it in my set 2 now after pasting it uh, there is a minor change that i need to make so if you notice uh, my entry conditions out here uh, are based on 1039 i need to take an entry at 1139 so i'll change this to 1139 and the second change that i need to make is that uh, my position detail in uh, in my set 1 is checking for number 0 now we don't want it to check for number 0 because at 1139 it is possible that uh, my two my two cells from 1039 uh, 1039 trade have already been executed so for that we will want to change our uh, our value to number minus 100 so minus 100 will basically look at um, the 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 50 quantity that has been uh, shorted in my um, in my call option plus the 50 quantity that has been shorted in my put option will basically total to minus 100 which is why i am checking for minus 100 in my position detail so if my position detail is minus 100 and it is a tuesday wednesday or thursday and the time is more than 10:39 in that case i will want to take a trade now again the trade that we want to take is the exact same thing uh, we are basically using a uh, we are we are using the same uh, sh short options that we have so i'll just copy my uh, short option from my set 1 and i will paste it out here and i have added my set 1 uh, short options now i need to add my uh, add my uh, targets and stop losses to the same now for that i can do the exact same thing i have my repair ones that have been set up i'll just copy my repair ones and i will add a repair ones out here and i will paste this so uh, my repair ones has been pasted um in your do remember that a small change needs to be made since we are looking at a second set we basically need to change the set number to 2 rest everything will remain the same so we'll look at both these uh, both these uh, keywords and we will change our leg number to number 2 after doing that i will close this submit this and i will simply use paste exit so um, i'll copy my uh, leg and i will paste the exit of this now the exact same thing needs to be done for my uh, second repair once so my call repair has been added now i will uh, do the same thing for my put repair 
so uh, in my put repair i will add a new repair once out here and i will click on paste and i will edit the repair once and out here i will now go to my leg exit and again i will change it to set number 2 and uh, leg number 2 so this is because it is a second uh, set uh, and second leg so i will i did it for my leg exit keyword and now i will do it for leg tsl now in here i have changed it and i am uh, good to go now so all i need to do is uh, i need to uh, submit this and I need to add my position builder uh, as uh, needed. So now my position builder for my put has been added and my strategy is, uh, is, is ready to uh, ready to begin execution for me. Um, I will now just uh, quickly look at the, uh, at the uh, advanced settings. I have my reactivation time set up and I have my checking uh, happening continuously and I will basically update the strategy. We'll now have a look at the backtest report of how the strategy performs. Now I ran the same strategy uh, on a backtest uh, for one year, 18 months, uh, 24 months and 30 months. Uh, just so that I can understand uh, from, from different time frames how the strategy has performed. So I have the backtest report of the last one year. And you can see in the last one year my PNL curve comes to at max around 50,000 um, with a fairly uh, stable drawdown plot. Uh, and you can see there are there's only one spike, uh, major spike that you can see, which is of close to 0.8%, which is a fairly good number. When we increase the increase the duration of this, you can see while the PNL curve increases, which is quite natural, um, you can see the drawdown curve, the 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 plots where the drawdown have have happened have also increased significantly. Um, when we increase the the timeline even more. Um, let's say I think this is the two year one, you'll see even more of that. And, and when we come to the three year one, while the PNL curve has increased, my drawdown, uh, my drawdown places have significantly increased as well. Now, this gives us one indication that this part, this entire place uh, would have been fairly choppy for such a strategy as compared to this place. So the 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 major the major uh, the major uh, returns uh, uh, drawdown adjusted returns have mainly happened in this part pa part of this uh, in this time of this particular strategy which is the last uh, which is the last one to one and a half year uh, if we if we look at it uh, directly um, with that you will get a lot of other statistical data also which you can use in order to compare different time frames for example one uh, one nugget would be that if we if we look at it only at, in the last 12 months the winning rate of this strategy stands at around 44 percent but when we club this entire strategy for the last 30 months the the winning rate actually reduces so uh, this this means that uh, this this strategy is again uh, giving better returns in the last one year as compared to the last uh, the last three years of uh, of uh, data so um, uh, with this uh, I, I will end this video if you have any other questions or uh, or suggestions or feedback on what we should cover in future videos feel free to drop it in the comments or uh, mail us at support at the rate of tradetron.tech and i would be happy to uh, uh, cover those uh, those uh, those features in uh, future videos thank you bye